Okay, it also bears repeating that uh, the xanthohumol tends to, uh, to, to, to help the body normalize b blood sugar levels and, and body insulin levels. It also has a protective effect on the nervous system. Uh, they've, they've actually done model strokes in under laboratory conditions and shown that, uh, that, that xanthohumol actually mitigated the damage or, or, or reduce the damage caused by, by strokes. Uh, it, it, so it is neuroprotective. And this is due to its anti-inflammatory properties. It's due to, to, to that it, in, in strokes, as I, as I said in the, in, in the cancer uh, research shows that it caused the cancer cells to, to blow up and to, and to destroy themselves. In the, uh, under stroke circumstances, the, the xanthohumol actually protects the normal brain tissue from destroying itself. And because of its anti-inflammatory uh, benefits and, its, and, and the other benefits, its, uh, its antioxidant benefits, it causes the stroke to be much smaller than it would have otherwise. And, and uh, in, in the experimental models, the, uh, it, it seems that physiologically, uh, the, the, the organism you know, came back to, to a more normal neurological functioning when they were taking the, the xanthohumol than, than in, you know, in, in other conditions when the xanthohumol was, wasn't used. So, I mean, it, has, it, it seems to have profound, uh, profound neurological effects. Uh, it's also beneficial uh, for, for certain female conditions, particularly endometriosis. Endometriosis is fortunately not all that common, but nor is it uncommon. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a condition where the, uh, the lining of the uterus or the endometrium tends to migrate to areas that it should not be. It's almost like a, it's not a tumor, but it's almost like a benign tumor because the cells that should be in, in the uterine wall or can, can actually migrate uh, into the ovaries, can, can migrate into, uh, into the GI tract and cause hormonal changes and, you know, and, and pain and, and discomfort, etc. The xanthohumol tends to reduce the ability of, uh, of endometriosis to, to migrate because of its anti-migratory, anti-inflammatory properties and the anti-angiogenesis or the angiogenesis um, uh, properties uh, and, and beneficial for, for uh, endometriosis.